Hi, this is Ben Brumfield with From the Page, and I am doing a demo today presenting how easy it is to get started up and running on a collaborative transcription, translation, or OCR correction project with From the Page. So before we start a project and upload documents, uh, we need to create an account for the organization. So I'm going to go to fromthepage.com and scroll down, click on Learn More, and then I will start a free trial. So this prompts me with a place to enter some information. So I'm going to enter a account for a demo archive. Okay, so we've got the demo, university archives, and special collections. Pull out the reCAPTCHA, and I will create an account. Once I've created an account, I have the ability to start a project. So I will click the Start a Project tab. And as part of this demo, I'm going to take you through several of the different ways that we have for starting projects. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a project, a new collection, and this is going to be the, the getting started demo. So having created the collection, I want to upload some documents to it, and we're gonna start by uploading a zip file. Um, this is one of the simplest things that we can do. We have a zip file here that is uh, got a couple of folders inside it. Each folder contains a set of scanned letters. So I will upload these WAC letters. Um, we're going to use the image file names as the titles of the pages, and we hit upload file. Um, that is going to upload the file from my computer and through my browser to the server. Um, once the upload is finished, a background task will start that will process this and it will create access copies of the different images. Uh, so it'll scale TIFFs or high, high size uh, JPEGs or PD, PNGs down to uh, smaller access copies um, and ingest them into the system and email me when they're done. Uh, this takes a while. So, um, oh, but if I reload in this case, it actually finished up. So we have a couple of WAC letters. We have a 1943 WAC letter that we are ready to transcribe. And we have our other WAC letter. But this isn't the only thing that we want to start, uh, want to demo. We're going to add a PDF work to this project. Uh, so we are going to upload a PDF. And this PDF is a German document. Uh, that is a modern text that has been uh, scanned using software that will automatically OCR the PDF. And many, many software tools will do this. Um, OCR the document and add a PDF layer to it. Uh, so we're going to say with this PDF, we want to use the OCR from the PDF text layer. And we'll upload that file. And again, that's going to take a while. Um, and in the background, that's going to be processed. So I should mention that, of course, um, you can upload PDFs that are just manuscript images. In that case, you wouldn't want to select the ingest OCR because OCR from handwriting is usually terrible. But once this is done, there we go. We've got the uh, file itself, and we have the ability to correct all of these, uh, any kinds of errors in the PDF. And you can. You can see the difference here is that this is an OCR correction document. Um, so everything has been populated with the text from the PDR, PDF layers from the original OCR. Let's go through some of the other kinds of ways to add works to our project. Um, many different content management systems and digital library systems have adopted the IIIF standard for sharing images and associated metadata. So in this case, we're going to go take a look at the Stanford, uh, Stanford Library Archives, and we will take a look at this document. Um, in the document, there is a link to a, PD, a IIIF manifest. And uh, you know, this is, if I copy 
the URL for the manifest and I paste it in here to the import IIIF manifest or collection and click import. Then I have a chance to review the metadata to be imported. Say that I want to import it in, into the getting started demo. And then that's going to run for a while. And now we have the Enix and Francis Edwards letters document that is imported directly from AAAF. And the fun thing about AAAF is that um, we have the ability to do this great kind of zoom because all of the images are served directly, in this case, from the, the Stanford Library site. Um, so it's, it's really powerful and there's very little duplication of effort or data uh, between the library system and the collaborative transcription platform. We can also import from the OCLC content management system, Content DM. So this digital library system, since it supports AAAF, we can bring AAAF-based content into it. Um, but we've been able to add a few little helpers to make the process a bit easier for constant DM and content DM installations. So if I go to Digital Maryland and look at a compound object, uh, this Pena QE letter, and I just take the URL of that compound object and paste it in to my uh, form and hit import, uh, it will go ahead and resolve the appropriate IIIF thing in the back end and pull that in and we get a chance to review the metadata as before. So we wanna put it in the getting started demo. We also have the ability to import OCR from content DM objects as well. So we're gonna import that manifest and that will be run in the background, but as you can see, um, we now have a letter in the document, uh, in the project. So that concludes the getting started demo. Um, I hope you're able to see that getting up and running for a trial and from the page is uh, pretty quick and easy. So if there are any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us. We'll leave a link to this collection on from the page and the notes so you can see what they look like. Um, and there'll also be links to create a 200 page trial account or set of a call. Thank you for listening.